Hi everyone and welcome to Home Reno Collectibles, where today, right in front of me here, we have 25 packs of Sun and Moon Burning Shadows. That means 25 chances of pulling these amazing cards. Here we have some epic full arts right there, and then look at those full art trainers, and the rainbow rares, and the secret rares. There's so much in the Burning Shadows set list, but this card, this guy right here is what everyone wants. This is what we're looking for. So this is the first main hunt video. We are looking for that Charizard GX from Burning Shadows. So let's get straight into it right here. We only have three of the Ho-Oh packs. These packs were purchased as completely uh, loose packs. So um, I have no idea where they came from. Booster boxes, collection boxes, elite trainer boxes. I have absolutely no idea. So they could contain absolutely amazing pulls and I could get way more than you know, your average kind of booster box even though we only have 25 packs here. Or we could have absolutely no pulls whatsoever. That is literally what could happen here. So very, very interesting. This is going to be really fun. Um, I actually have 50, that's right, 50 uh, single blister packs. You know the ones that come in like the cardboard packaging? Uh, on the way from Magic Madhouse, uh, they were down to 2.25 per pack, so I thought, why not? Let's just go ahead and buy a bunch of those, and then I'll make five videos opening ten each. Well, that's two dark energies in a row, and then we can just open up ten packs in each Burning Shadows video, and then we can spread the Burning Shadows love out a little bit there. There we have the Town Growth, uh, and I thought that would be a really, really fun way of getting through it because not everyone wants to sit through an entire booster box opening and um, when you have so much Pokemon content to bring out like I do and I want to spread it all out instead of just getting it all out in a few videos that would be a fantastic way of doing it. Finally a different type of energy. There's Wick, Lunatone, Horsey, Noibat, Alolan Griber, Ryolu, Cutifly, Alolan Vulpix and a Butterfree, a really nice card right there, but it is only a standard rare. Here we go, Necrozma, give us some luck right here. We're going to stick uh, with Marshadow for the end, seeing as its name is part of Burning Shadows. So here we go, another Tangler pack. Uh, I'm really, really hoping we do get something awesome from these. Obviously, we are not guaranteed because, like I say, I don't know exactly where these packs actually come from. So, yeah, the, the, I think these were from Chaos Cards, to be exact. And then we have the Electivire. I mean, like, you know, I don't know what boxes or anything they came from. These could have actually been single blisters that have been opened up. You never know. So, um... Yeah, we're sticking with uh, a lot of Tangler and Hoot Hoots, aren't we? That kind of sucks. I want something different to start out with at the front of these packs. Here we go, Water Energy. And do we have anything awesome? There's another Tangler. Why do we keep on getting them? And we have a Weavile. But seriously, guys, there is so much amazing Pokemon content coming out these days, especially with uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. I mean, I cannot wait to play those, but the amount of Pokemon card content that's coming out as a result of that, and just Pokemon in general just getting a massive boom these days, it's absolutely fantastic. And I don't know if you noticed there, but we have actually finally got a different Pokemon to start out at the front. We have a Porygon doing a Kamehameha, which is pretty sweet. And we're oh, 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 going out of focus here. We're actually getting a lot of different cards. There's the Duskull. Very, very nice. Reverse Inkay. And we have a Toxic Croak. Still not even a Hollow just yet. So, uh, so far, we're not doing all too great. Here we go with the last Necrozma. And uh, I I don't know, Burning Shadows, it's a massive, massive set. If you were going to try and complete this thing, you'd just be insane or you have a ton of uh, money. But, um, well, if you want to complete it by actually pulling every card anyway. I'm only looking for one card, but by the time I find that one card, I'll probably have everything else in this set. So here we go. But I do definitely want to pull it. I don't want to buy any Pokemon cards. I, I want to... 
you know, pull every single card that I have. And here we go, we have another Butterfree. Ho oh, and Necrozma did not give me any luck, so let's move into the Tapus here. So here we go, this one was kind of a little bit uh, beaten up, the, the package is like a little bit um, bent up there. So let's hope that the cards inside are all okay, they should be perfectly fine. And we're going to start here with a Wimpod. Something different again, so here we go, Fairy Energy, haven't got that just yet either. Charmeleon, haven't got that yet either, Dusclops. Town and Togedemaru, Krogunk, Pansia, Magikarp, Slowking Reverse, very nice, and the rare is just another Electivire, wow, really, really not having good luck whatsoever, um, let's hope that this thing picks up, I don't want to get to the end of this and have literally nothing, I mean, the odds um, are in my favor, aren't they? I mean, come on. There's no way that you can go 25 packs and get literally nothing. Like, that just can't happen, let's face it. So here we go. I, I at least want a bunch of hollows. So here we go. Ribombi, Curlia, Olivia, Magikarp. We have Mudbray, Alolan Rattata, Pampor, Caterpie, right on reverse, and we have a Chromomitable, which, good card, but it's not even a holographic. And just to show on these uh, code cards, look at that, it's just all green so far, so not going too well. Obviously these packs cannot be weighed because they do have those code cards in them, which means they should be uh, wow, this thing doesn't even want to open, and you saw that, that was a another green code anyway, so I may as well just open it just like that. Uh, yeah, so th there's no way that they could have made sure that I got all the crap ones, but wow. I mean, that that kind of does suck. Ooh, heat more, that looks cool. Uh, weakness policy, well, uh, this definitely is a weak set of packs so far, but hey, maybe I'm saving all the good ones for the end, Meow Stick and another Chromonable. So, we have to start getting some good pulls here. We seriously, seriously have to start getting something good. There's no way that we can go this many packs. I don't know exactly how many we've opened just yet. Maybe like 10 or something like that, maybe a few more. There is no way that we can keep going through this entire thing without any GXs, so here, we go with the Fire Energy Kiawe, Simisir, Sneasel, Alolan Grimer, Ralts, Alolan Vulpix, Hoot Hoot again, Darkrai Reverse, that's a cool card, and a Kingdra Holographic. Finally we have a Holo, wow, that's the first card that I can put aside. Oh my gosh. Well, we got something. We finally got something that wasn't a green pack, so... Is the train going to start from here? Are we going to have epic luck now? Is that Kingdra going to bring us the gold? Let's find out. Here we go with the Psychic Energy, the Bodybuilding Dumbbells, Asa Roller, Dusclops, Ryolu, Meowth, Alolan Vulpix, Wimpod, Togenomaru, a Reverse Hoot Hoot this time, and the Galissapod G. X. Finally, finally, at last, we have something very, very nice indeed. HP 210. That is very, very nice. Well, the train's going well. We're two for two on this train. Can we make it to three? Here we go. At least we got something. I'm very, very happy about that. I'm thinking that out of this many packs, we should probably at least pull about two to three GXs at least. Obviously, you don't have the certainty of getting stuff like you would in a booster box. Um, I'm going to think there should be two to three GXs and maybe even a full art in here or something. So here we go with the Fairy, the Charmeleon, the Buffalant, Olivia, Mudbray, Ladybug, Hoot Hoot, Alone and Vulpix, Ralts. Krogunk Reverse, and a Slowking Standard Rare. The train is over, guys, but the war still rages on. Let's find out what else we can get. We have a new card on the front of this one. We have a Crabrawler, 
So, is that a sign that there is something new in the rare slot? We have a Water Energy, Olivia Kiawe, Rhydon, Crabrawler, Sneasel, uh, Venipede, Horsey, Cutifly. The reverse is a Rotom Dex, Pokefinder Mode. I definitely do like the Rotom, so that's pretty cool. And the rare is a Passimian, but it is a standard rare. I really do not want to end this video with just one GX and one Holographic. But here we go, another new one on the front, we have a Stuffle. Let's hope that these new Pokemon can give us something. Fire Energy, Lana, Electabuzz, very nice, one of my all-time favorite Pokemon right there. And we have the Simapore, the Stuffle, Crabrawler, Morlol, Sandigast, Venipede, Crabrawler Reverse, and we have a Turtonator at the back, standard, rare. The train has well and truly left the station and has left us behind by the looks of things. When is the next one going to arrive? Hopefully it is very soon, within the next five minutes. Here we go. Starting out with the Charmander. One, two, three, four from the back. We're starting out with the Metal Energy, another Electabuzz, Mount Lana Killer. We have Kiawe, Charmander. Crabrawler, Meowth, Stuffle, Pansage, a Reverse Paragon, that's pretty sweet, and the rare is a Holographic Zygarde, we got two Hollows, very, very nice one to pull there, that looks really sweet, the full form of Zygarde, well we got something, I mean that's nice, obviously, so, here we go, second to last out of these packs, we got another Stuffle, one, two, three, four, and we are starting out with the Water Energy, a Wishful Batten, Wick, Lunatone, Stuffle, Mudbray, Tynamo, Oddish, Duskull, Reverse Crabuller again, and just a standard Weavile. Last of the Tapus, here we go. Please give me some good luck, please, please, please. Starting out with the Magikarp, that's another new one on the front. At least it's showing some kind of variation other than all these green cards. We have the Electric Energy, Rhydon, Lunatone, Seedra, Magikarp, Alolan Rattata, Wimpod, Togemaru, Sork, we haven't seen that yet, a Reverse Toxicroak, and the rare is another Weevil. So here we go then, moving on to the Mar Shadow Packs. How many Mar Shadows do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven packs remaining. So here we go. We need these seven packs to all house awesome, awesome stuff. Starting out with a Dupiter right there. Let's hope that we have something great right here. Please have a Charizard in there, please. Finding Energy Weakness Policy Potown. Rabombi, Dupeta, Togedemaru, Wimpod, Meowth, the Magikarp right there, the reverse is a Wimpod, we are very out of focus, sorry about that, and an Electros. Last few packs here, here we go. Let's see what Marshadow can bring us this time. And we have Fire Energy, Kalia, Olivia, Kiawe. Krogunk, Pikachu, that's cool. Is that the first time we've seen Pikachu today? A Pampor, a Cutifly, Pansia, Porygon 2, first time we've seen that, and it's reverse, so that's really cool. And the rare is just an Araquanid. One, two, three, four, five packs remaining. Things aren't looking all too great. I definitely need another GX from these packs. I seriously, seriously do. One, two, three, four. To the front. And here we go. We have the Leaf Energy, Acerola, Wishful Batten, Metapod, Alolan Grimer, Ryolu, Meowth, Alolan Vulpix, Wimpod. We have the Kiawe Reverse. And wow. Okay, so we got another GX, that's really good, but it's the Galissapod GX, which I already pulled earlier, so, wow. What are the chances of that? We got a double. Uh, well, it's still a great pull, it's still a great card, and I would definitely prefer that over just another green pack, so, we'll take it, we'll take it. Here we go then. The last four packs. 
We only need one pack to pull a Charizard, guys, so... Definitely does not matter what we pull. If it's not a Charizard, doesn't matter if it's a uh, repeat or not. So here we go. We got a Fairy Energy. Wabafet, first time we've seen that. Electric, first time we've seen that. Guzma, first time we've seen that. Paragon, Meryl, Hoot Hoot, Rhyhorn, Routes, Sophocles, Reverse, and a Butterfree. Last three packs. Here we go, Marshadow. Come on, give me some luck. Give me some luck. We're starting out with an Esper on the front. One, two, three, four. And this time it is back to the start with the Darkness Energy right there. Buffalant, Esper, Mortal, Charmander, Porygon, Meryl. The reverse, Guzma, and the rare is an Electivire. Well, this is very sad. We are down to the last two packs, but like I say, I've got 50 on the way. Uh, I've got more Burning Shadows to open inside other collection boxes and such. And after we've got through all of that, if we still don't have the Charizard, I will definitely be buying more. I might go ahead and just uh, try and get some booster boxes as well, so that we're at least, uh, you know, got some definite pulls on the way. So we got a Wick, a Meryl, a Rhyhorn, Sandy Gust, Hoot Hoot, Tangler, Krogon Traverse, and the rare is Heracross. That is really, really cool, but again, not hollow, but the card is really, really cool. We got someone spray painting on the wall over there and stuff. That's a really, really nice artwork. That would have been fantastic as a full art. Like, wow. So here we go. Last pack, the 25th pack of Burning Shadows. And we're starting out with the Venipede on the front. There we go. Forecast the front. Darkness energy right there. And we have a Sol Rock. An escape rope. Gloom. First Gloom that we've seen so far. Venipede. Horsey. Cue to fly. Ladybird. A low lone Grimer. We have a Diancie. The first version of that that we've got. And it is a reverse. That is a really good looking card. And the rare is just a Scolipede, and no, it is not holographic. So, so those 25 packs didn't go all that well. We did pull two GXs, but unfortunately, they were the same two GXs. And we got two hollows, a Kingdra and a Zygarde. And I got a ton of cards there that I can obviously put into my Burning Shadows binder, which I will start now. And uh, yeah, we're going to keep this going, and we're going to find that Charizard GX. And it's going to be amazing. So thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like. And obviously, there's some more videos on the screen right now for you to go ahead and check out if you like this one. And there are some links in the description below for you to check out, too. If you want to join me on the hunt for the Charizard GX and more Pokemon openings, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you next time.